They say every dog has its day. The expression couldn't be truer for Marig. A former stray dog, she once prowled the streets of Lhasa, begging for food and a place to sleep. Thanks to Tibet's first home for stray dogs, the dog not only has a home, but a name to answer to. Since opening in late 2013, the Adoption Centre is now home to 2,000 stray dogs who enjoy shelter from the chilly winter on the Tibetan plateau. We saved Marek from the brink of death. When she was brought here, she was so sick. She could barely eat anything when feeding with the other dogs. So we prepared her a room of her own and brewed her Tibetan medicine to cure her illness. Thankfully, she is now recovering. Located 20 kilometres from Lhasa and covering just over three acres, the new centre boasts 96 kennels. Costing almost 9 million yuan, around 1.45 million US dollars, the new centre also features quarantine and treatment facilities. Every day the handlers here prepare special Tibetan-style dog food. It is cold here in winter. So we provide the dogs with bone broth and a mix of dog food and zamba, which is a Tibetan body dish. Between them, all they can eat three sacks of zamba and two sacks of dog food plus two pots of bone broth each day. In Tibet, dogs are revered by both locals and Buddhist monks. An ancient legend says before Tibetans learnt to grow food, they were saved by dogs who delivered to them highland barley seeds, the main ingredient in making sampa. Before the centre opened, the responsibility of caring for Lhasa stray dogs fell mainly on local monasteries, where monks and residents provide them with food. But with thousands of strays to care for, there's only so much the monasteries can do. In view of local religious customs and the fact that stray dogs had become a nuisance for urban transportation and a danger to tourists in Lhasa, the city government decided to build this centre. It is the first centre for street dog adoption in Tibet. Migma Sering says the decision on whether to send dogs to the centre will be up to each monastery. While they'll still be allowed to shelter stray dogs themselves, authorities hope the new centre will release some of their workload in caring for stray canines, reduce the number of dogs on the city's streets. Stray dogs found by local authorities will be captured and sent to the adoption centre they'll be registered, quarantined and given a kennel in the new home. Those not claimed by their owners will be eligible for adoption. There has been no such place in our city before. The establishment of the centre shows our love and care for the dogs. I support it, I am also touched.